With the modernization plans almost completed, we are almost ready to look forward to future expansion. But one bit of our supply chain. As the train got past. Don't mind me. I'm just uh I'm just trying to make an intro here. As I was saying, one bit of the supply chain still is lacking in the modernization. You can see it right in front of you. So the routes running into this steel mill here, over to the machines factory on the other side, and running all the way back to Concord and over to near Baltimore and near Norwalk for the iron and the coal is all going to be upgraded in this episode of Transport Fever 2. So make sure you stay tuned. This thing is going to drown me out again, so I'm just going to stop talking. It is currently August the 12th, 1905 in Transport Fever 2. You can see our trains running quite nicely. How many are you carrying? 80. That's great. 80 is good. And you can see we have this train that is full and another 42 waiting. So what are we looking to do in this episode? What needs to change? Well, there are a few things. First of all, as you can see, we have a lot of coal, but not enough iron. So that is what is letting us down, which means that our iron these trains here need to be improved immediately so that is going to be the first improvement that I make so here we go what we are looking to replace are uh, are those moguls or Baldwin's Baldwin class 56 of course we're going to be replacing them they are going to go straight over to now this is where things get very interesting because I could theoretically try and bring them right the way up to a 10 wheeler uh, and start looking at and this is why this is in a separate episode in and of itself I can start looking at not only getting machines there getting machines to Memphis and there is another place that requires machines Clearwater and New Haven requires some machines as well McAllen itself requires machines so there is a lot over here. New Orleans requires machines. Uh, who else requires machines? I think that might be it. Yeah, all of those require machines. So if I were to increase this, this makes 400. I think we go to 62 mile per hour trains on these. This train needs to be this long. So that is going to be a train of length 160 meters that is going to be the length of the train that we have for these at least for this moment at this moment in time they are probably going to get a lot longer so here we go um a nice orange train maybe a bit too orange there we go that's one coupled with now this this thing carries how many 84 we are going to go more than 84 gondolas uh, we can make let's make the gondolas a nice color as well black no deep gray uh, let's go for that one two three four five six they say they carry 84 right congratulations you are now going to be carrying 120 and then I should be able to stick one of these at the back and still get within there you go still within reach or still within the size 19 19.2 million is what that is going to cost me sure there you go oh that's the wrong color of that is the wrong color of um oh well, that's horrible I'm upset about that. That's the wrong colour of orange. As you can see. But you know what? Sure. It can do whatever it needs to do. So that is going to be this one. Now this is going to carry 120. I do not want these ones to carry 120. So that is going to change. 
these two are going to be replaced of course we're going to have black uh, carriages with perhaps gray we'll go ahead and do this as well and we'll go black and then we'll go for cargo and we're going for this and we're going to go for a, a light ish medium gray and instead of 120 we are carrying so they're, they're doing that much we're going to go down to 96 on these there you go so they are carrying more they're certainly carrying more but not as much as the iron one so that is now going to increase the amount of steel being produced now with the amount of steel being produced that means that this train here is going to need to be a little bit faster at transporting goods to and fro so that is the next train to change let's go ahead and it does not have to be anything like a, a ten wheeler we're going to go we're going to use a mogul we can say we repurpose the mogul and we are going to have it in a what color is that is it that one no it's, it's that one isn't it there you go we'll do that and then we're going to go over here and flat car with stakes this can carry 42 and it is at a length of 78 meters you can now carry 60 at the exact same length there you go and faster so now we have an improvement right there here comes our first iron iron train not the first full one though because the first full one should be there ready to pick up there it is ready to pick up actually the orange is quite grown on me the orange is the orange is really grown on me okay fine we're going to leave the orange the next one that does require changing is going to be the main one that takes a supply where are you is it you no it isn't wait you lot never changed did you Norwalk Bricks was one that never ever managed to change and what do you have 30% Norwalk Bricks needs to change I'm going to change that very quickly it's only one and uh, it needs to be changed to have a what are you using Baldwin you know what why don't we bring you up to a 10 wheeler as well there you go and it is taking bricks how many does it carry again 98 actually you now carry how long are you 158 150 162 158 it is you now carry 132 at a faster speed off you go go enjoy right in the meantime I need to find there it is these trains Concord machines we are going to get these both of them to run much much better so how am I going to do that well first of all I need to look at the color of them they're blue and blue all the way through that right 10 wheelers is what these are going to be Uh, that color do we put a double header on these that's not the color I want that color there it is do we put a double header on this I mean that's 35,000 pound feet of torque or uh, 35,000 this thing is 256 is is 30,000 this can take this can take more just on its own and then we've got the box cars these ones used to weigh 10 tons these ones weigh 15 tons um, and we need to take more so a double header is probably still a good idea there we go and we will actually go for now actually let's just stick with this color box cars why not Right, what is the maximum length of these what what length are we looking at another 160 yep 160 so they carry 84 they are now going to carry 120 
I double double tap the button there. There you have it. So this entire this entire setup is now far far more. Um, that could literally be the thumbnail setup right here. I think. Please tell me I can get all of these in a good picture. 55 mil. That hill is blocking the way, but can I make this work? Uh, I cannot make this work. I sort of can make this work because if you look there, there's a new one, there's a new one, there's a new one. I am going to make this work. That can potentially be the thumbnail for the episode. Because that is literally, we've got everything right here. I'll, I'll be on the lookout for a few more pictures, I'm sure. Is that, that is coming along at 31 miles per hour. This one is doing 45. It is catching up. That is not the one I want to see in the picture. That is the one I want to see in the picture. This might be interesting. This might be very, very interesting. Because that is going to drop off what it needs to drop off. We might end up with, with the perfect moments here. Come on, in and out the station. Give me the absolute perfect. What do we have? Get the camera. Check. Okay. Okay. Good. Hey, now that isn't bad. That there is not bad. That's that's gone really well. That has gone really really well. I'm quite I'm quite happy with that. Uh, right, so what do we have now? Uh, we've got steel being made here. 84, there we go. Look, we've got some... We've got 84 currently stored. 80, but... We should start having more and more of this being delivered faster than that. That's the theory. Over here, we have 142 waiting. This thing can take 120. So we know that we've got the capacity to build up. We've got plenty in the way of wood, so the only, my only concern with the wood is that these are fairly old trains. They are transporting a lot. And maybe at this point in time it's really, maybe at this point in time it's really not worth upgrading those particular ones. But what is going to happen is uh, we, we're going to have to look over at Concord and see if it can handle the amount going back. This is this is looking promising though. We still have iron. That is the vital parts right there. We still have the iron. Come on, come on. There we go. I can only imagine putting something here and getting trucks going into McAllen. I mean, yes, admittedly, it only needs 25, but I could pop them there and then see if it it starts growing this town out this way. Which would be rather neat, I think, personally. Ah, look, we're out of iron again. Well, that's, uh, rubbish. We are trying to go as fast as we can. At this point, short of adding more... Short of adding more, um... What do you call it? Short of adding more trains, I think we are going to be in a bit of a mess with the iron. Now each each load allows us to have 60. It gives us 60 in total. Which is good. 60 is a good number. Ah, I see now, maybe it's to do with the weighting. Maybe we should have 
the signal there to give the iron a little bit more priority. Right, let, let me try something here now. There's a signal there. Give me that single signal. That might give iron more priority. Because if it's coming along and this one is this one will have to wait for an entire section. Which is which is better. This is managing though, look. We are just about managing on this. So we also have to be careful about that. There is a lot to there's a lot to consider here as we go through 1906. Wow, already in 1906. Off you go. You're on your way. Great. Everybody else is on their way. We have 60 currently here. We have 39, 40 of those. What are you waiting for? Ah, you're waiting for that to go through. Fine. That has 120. 120, 22, 23 currently made. It is going to make a few more. We're almost out. It's probably going to make a total of 37 or 36, something like that. 37, there you go. That's picked up 60. That now has 108, so that's going to make another 50. I think we are getting there. I think we are getting there slowly. You can see that with the amount that is stored, we are very slowly improving. Yeah, see? Now, if that was down there, there might have been a chance that that would get blocked by that one, and we've just managed to avoid that. Hey, why aren't you full anymore? Oh dear. Oh, it's dropped down. No, it has a drop down. That's getting close to the next level. And it is upgraded. Oh, and it's using them very, very quickly. Okay. That is okay, though. And let's see if we can get this delivered. You are now delivered. Now it's using it far too far too quickly for me to compensate. I cannot compensate with that unless I start looking at grabbing more iron and bringing it in on this side. That is the only way I can I can look at compensating for for that. Do we have coal down here as well? I think we do somewhere. No, it's oil. Where's the coal? Oh, there's the coal. So we can always look at bringing more coal in. Well, we do not need more coal. More iron in to this to this place, and then handling it from from there. Or do I just make make a third iron train? It isn't going to help if we have not enough here. Um, you're going to pick up 120. That may end up with us. And I see. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough or not. I can always try it. I can always try it. There you go. Oh, why are you headed that way? Well, that was just silly, wasn't it? I wanted it to go the other way. Okay, but let let us see if this if this helps. So this is the point of today's episode, really. It's just trying to understand this. Right. Moving over to this side, there's some iron going through, that's going back. We might end up with a traffic jam somewhere. I'm worried a little bit about that. But otherwise, are we doing okay? Ah yes, we still, see that's the zero. That's the zero issue we're having. But, I, I think we can manage because this is picking up very quickly now. Obviously I think it, it, it must be making it double 
doubly as fast. Doubly as fast, that isn't a term. Twice as quick, there we go. Twice as quickly, that is fine. Doubly is a word, but I'm not sure it doesn't work like that. That isn't the, that isn't the correct term, or the correct use of it. Come on, trains. Here comes some more iron. We've run out of iron immediately. Here comes another lot of iron. Ooh. Now we're in a little bit of a pickle. No, wait, so we still have more. We still have more. Now, that one is now going to have to wait. But it is now cleared through. You have delivered your iron. It is using iron like nobody's business. How's the production here? 33. What did this take back? 100, ah, 118. So now we have a bottleneck somewhere. Now where is... I think the bottleneck is that iron. It has to be. Surely it has to be the iron that's causing that bottleneck. And there's... we're down to zero again. But the iron is almost here already, which is good. And we know that there's more iron just behind it. There comes another train. There's a concern. That is only going to give us 70. You said you can carry 120. That is not enough. Do I have this train wait? I think I will not have the train wait. I'm going to have it go regardless. Because I think we need to we need to work with this and try and determine what what we need to do to improve. Could it be could it be this transport that is immediately a bottleneck? Do we need to have more than 60 going back and forth? We have 104 here waiting. That's two loads already two full trains and in comes the iron could it could that be the case uh, no that cannot be the case and the reason that cannot be the case is because by the time that comes back this is not going to be at zero and if that is not at zero we do not have a bottleneck or the bottleneck is not there the bottleneck could be literally here this thing cannot produce anything fast enough. It could literally be that this is not producing things fast enough. This one looks to be a lot better. We're looking at about a hundred being produced on this one. Which is good. Where is the train? There's there's the train. Can it make a hundred by the time we you see now maybe there's the problem maybe it cannot make it fast enough okay so we found a new bottleneck all we've done is just move the bottleneck further along um, but that is that is the way it seems right Oh, auto save. I was wondering why suddenly everything stopped a bit. There's 80. 85. Can we just let it wait then? What if we just told it to wait until it's had... No, see, 87 and it's gone. Interesting. And now you're waiting. That might have been a bad idea. Unless, unless I do this. We can say once that was up to speed, then. So if it's already getting up to speed, then wait. If it is just leaving, do not wait. Still on zero. Still on zero. Five, the consumption's good on this. But as you can see, it is going through that so quickly, far faster than the coal, which is not dropping much at all. 
Okay. Oh, what am I talking about doing that there? The machine factory's got to be here. Which means we have to have... We have to somehow get even more going to the machines factory to be able to get it into McKellen in the first place. How are we going to do that? This thing is struggling to make it as it is. Although, could it be struggling to make it because there is not enough... St no, the steel's still coming in. 188, 189. That sounds like the figure in Concord. That's 126. Where is it going? Where is it going? Also, I've just realised this is a bad, bad idea. Uh, there you go. Do that. Now you've got space. Oh, we are losing. Hello, we are going to be losing a lot of this. Well, that is a problem. That is a problem indeed. So, th this whole line needs to be re optimized. Or, I say re optimized, it needs to be optimized. How do we do this? How do we move. Do I have enough of these coming and going, toing and froing? I think. Perhaps I should increase the number of vehicles. There you go. Now we have another four of them. Leaving the depot somewhere. Where's the depot? There they are. Look at them go. Happily pottering along. Hey look, there's another house here. Was this house here before? I know that one was. Was this one? Okay. Emissions are really poor. I do not know what to do about emissions to improve it. There must be a way. If anybody knows how to improve emissions, please do let me know. What I could also do to help this is upgrade said... No. Upgrade said country road. This one here. That way it's falling all the way through. That might be better. Right, so what do we have? You, you're in, you're in. Everybody seems to be okay. You pop in this way, you do your U-turn. You pick up the amount of goods you require. Where's that train? I cannot see that train anywhere. That's good. That is really good. Oh, I see a train. No, it's not. False alarm. It's just one of the passenger trains. Right. Hang on, no, I do see a train. Here it comes. There is something coming this way. What is it? Is it the blue train? It is the blue train. However, look at that. We brought it down to 35. In fact, we've brought it down to 29. And we're still over, but we made it better. We definitely made it better. That's good. Okay, so we've got some improvement on, on this side. We've de certainly got some improvement on, on this side of things. Um, but I think maybe... Maybe a couple more? I do not know. Manage vehicles. God, give me give me two more. There you go. Maybe that is all we require. That might literally be it. Of course we have the issue with the railways as well. I'm just wondering what if they went no, because if they can cross this, it's fine. It is when they cannot cross it that that's when we have issues. But they seem to be managing fairly all right. You see, that, that isn't too much trouble overall. 
Oh no, another one's already arrived. What? Wait, pause, stop. No. Uh, not happening. Sorry, I, I'm not losing all of this steel. I'll lose some of it. I'm not losing all of this steel. There we go. In fact, I lost none of it. There we go. So we do need to somehow manage this. I think maybe there's a there's a slight time offset. They're not quite even with each other. In fact, I'm fairly sure they're not quite even with each other. Where are you? See, you've just arrived. So for you, what if I stop you for 10 seconds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That wasn't really seconds, so I'll just wait a few more, and there we go. Okay, so you're carrying 107. That's positive. 107 is positive now. You're still making... Oh, you're doing it at 200. Production is 200 of 200 now. Shipment is 130 of 200. So we need to work on that. Wood coming in is absolutely fine. Here, we're slowly, very slowly starting to take down the coal. And it is incredibly, incredibly slow. It's going to take years to, to clear that backlog. Stored. One. One. There, here comes the iron. Oh no. Oh no. There's our problem. I knew that would happen. I, I just knew that was going to happen. Where am I? That is where I'm supposed to be. So now we cannot even produce iron fast enough to do this. Okay, well, I'll handle it, f I'll leave it like that for now. There comes the train. That's the one I stopped earlier, so now there are 60 here. By the time it's here, there's probably going to be 70. It isn't a lot, but I know it's going to keep making. So if that needs to produce faster. We need to get this iron mine hooked up here. This will have to manage however it's going. The coal is still ridiculous, but I really don't, it doesn't matter to me. I don't really care at this point in time for that. Over here, we've definitely managed the um, steel. We've, we've, got, we've got a handle on the steel over here. Just look at that. That is just about to pick up the last of the steel, it seems. And we've got more steel to work with. That is good. That is really, really good. So that's telling me now that we're up to 133. I think it was 127, wasn't it? So we're up to 133. That is working. 368. We've got, we've got progress. Things are, things are going well. Or not, not well, but they're, they're going better than perhaps they were at the start of the episode. How many people are waiting here? 91. Look at all these buildings that have decided to plonk themselves here. I want to expand in that direction. I should have just expanded whilst I had the chance. Okay, what do we have? That thing's going to pick up all that steel. So, there it goes. That's almost a lot. It is just slow. Not enough iron. Alright, let me attempt something to work on towards the end of this episode then. Let me... Let me do this. Wait, what? There we go. truck station which is what I require it 
sure just do that. I'm sure I can fix something. I can figure this out and make it neater if and when I have to. And we shall have a truck station here. This might require... No, actually, this will... Pro no, not a harbour. This probably only requires one as well. I will put the truck station, however, at the back here. Because I just think this is going to be a little bit better. Uh, also, why don't I just do that? Look, that looks really nice. Kind of. Doesn't really match, does it? Could I paint something here that makes it match? That isn't it. Kind of, sort of. Look, there you go. Sort of works, doesn't it? Could actually do the same here. There you go, sort of works. This isn't perfect, but kind of gives you the idea that this is a more industrial area as opposed to... Actually, that looks quite nice. That does look quite nice. I'll, I'll... I do say so myself. Maybe square this off then. Like that. Okay. So what we can do is we can set up a route from new line from here to here. Uh, we'll have to bring in we'll have to bring things in from a depot down here or something. Uh, but we'll go from there to there. It is going to be orange. It is going to be called. Uh, is this is this orange? Is that the colour I do iron? Is it it's bright orange, isn't it? Uh, FR. What's someone looking for? Iron Mine Run. There it is. It's the deeper orange. The. That's. That orange? That isn't the orange. That's orange. That looks like the orange. Okay. So it's FRRW Iron Mine Run. So this is actually going to be. FRRD Iron Mine Run. Nope. That's wrong. Iron mine run McAllen there you go and what better way to get this running than to grab the depot in Reno grab let's go for a steam flatbed truck let's grab 20 of them buy them set that set the maintenance to be high close that because that was wrong Set them to orange and on to the run. Let's see how this works. Oh, would you look at that? Already, uh, I am going to have to increase this, aren't I? There we go. One, two. Perfect. It's already got 30. Is this, this is straight away up to 400. This is going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. It's going to be full by the time they get here. Come on, quickly, quickly, guys, quickly, where are you? Here, here you come. All on a roll. One, two, three, four. Sound of Thunderbirds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thunderbirds are times four. Guys, where are you going? Yeah, you're idiots. You are, you are actually idiots. You go. Okay, fine. Fine. Do what you need to do. 3,000. Look at that. We're down to 3,700. This is actually starting to take a toll. 
we're actually seeing the numbers dropping, which means that this very soon will not be enough to to handle it. That's 89. To handle either of these. You see, that wasn't clever, was it? All you guys had to do was go this way. But no. Anyway, at that point, I think it is high time for me to end this video. If you did like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Please do hit that notification bell as well so you are notified when I actually post more videos of Transport Fever 2, which is generally every Tuesday at 20 hundred hours, uh, 20 hundred hours British time, which is currently GMT plus one. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I shall see you guys next time in Transport Fever 2, where... Well, I think it's about time we started laying some more railways down. So I'll start having a look at what to do with some railways, and we'll get on with more of that. So make sure you stay tuned, and I'll see you guys then.